Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, there is going to be some cleaning motivation for you, some of which will include Alan helping me. If you are new here, Alan is my husband. There will also be a Halara try on, so stay tuned for that because Halara has some of the best pants ever and they are my favorite, so I'm going to do a little try on haul for y'all. So let's get right into it. I started off my morning with some coffee and I used my new coffee cup that Alan got me for Halloween from Target. I love this cup so much. It's just the cutest ever and then I had a little breakfast as well I made myself some cinnamon spice oatmeal and I added in a banana and some crunchy peanut butter And then I relaxed on the couch a little bit and had this little fall ambiance playing that I found on YouTube Because even though it's 90 something degrees outside I'm over here trying to pretend that we have fall weather So now that I've had my coffee and breakfast it's time to get up and get some cleaning done So I started off in my living room today I'm gonna take all of my blankets and pillows off the couch so I can spray them down with some dossier and also so I can lint roll the couch because it's been a while since I did that So I'm using my Delomo lint roller. This thing is amazing and it's reusable and it works way too good It's been a total game changer in my home and I can't lie. It's kind of fun to use The Dossier perfume I've been obsessed with lately is the Ambery Saffron, which is the Baccarat dupe. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but it's a dupe for a $300 perfume, except it's way more affordable, it's cleaner, and let me just tell you, I don't care what that $300 perfume smells like because this Dossier one is top notch. Even Alan is in love with it. I've been spraying it all over our home and it lingers for days. So now I'm just putting all of the blankets and pillows back in their place and after that I'm gonna be wiping the glass off on grandpa's table and then I'll be doing the same on the TV table and I'll be wiping off the TV as well. I'm using a rag that's made for windows and mirrors and the foam glass cleaner from Walmart. So now I'm vacuuming the floor using my canister vacuum. I love this vacuum so much. It's so easy to use. I love how long the cord is and how it reaches super far in my apartment and retracts when I'm done with it. And it's just a great vacuum in general. So now this area of the apartment is all fresh and clean so let's move on to the office area. I'm going to wipe off the bookshelf quick and as usual I'm taking the lazier route. By not removing everything off of the shelves to wipe it off I'm just going to lift some of it and wipe under it and around it because ain't nobody got time to take all of that stuff off and put it back. Well sometimes I do but not today girl. I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I now listen, I don't want to hear nothing about this cluttery area over here. This is the cat's world and I am just living in it. They love this styrofoam house that I set up for them. It has all of their toys and stuff in it. And you know they love some cardboard boxes so they have a few of them over there as well. I'm just going to move that stuff out of the way so I can lint roll and vacuum the couch and vacuum the floor and then I'll put it all back for them. Second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me.
So now I am moving my big gorgeous chair out of the way so I can clean this area. I'm going to wipe off the desk quick and vacuum under the desk as well. So I am still loving this chair we got from Kennels. This is the Austin chair. It is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat on and it has been helping me so much because I have to sit at my desk for long hours at a time and that other chair we used to have was just killing my back and this one has made so such a huge difference for me. I am in love with it. So now this area is all fresh and clean and now I'm going to move on to the kitchen because the kitchen is a little bit of a mess. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of all of this garbage and yes, I just threw away a banana because it was so soft and rotted, it was gross so it was time for her to go and no, I was not going to use her for banana bread because it was too gross for me to even want to touch. It felt like total mush so I had to get it out of my eyesight and besides, I just made pumpkin bread so I don't need no banana bread. And now I'm cleaning off my ice box because she was looking a little funky and I'm using the foam glass cleaner and that same rag that I was cleaning everything else with. And then I'm going to be cleaning out the dishwasher. I have been hating doing this more than ever lately and I think the real problem is that Alan has been spoiling me by doing it every day. So now every day I would rather him just do it. Y'all know it's my least favorite thing to do anyway and if he's willing to do it, why not just let him, right? Right. <laughs> Except for today, he was a little bit busy while I was in the middle of cleaning, so I cleaned it out myself, but good news is he did step in and do some other things for me, thank God, because I just wasn't really feeling it today. Y'all know I love cleaning and I love keeping my home clean, but sometimes I'm just tired or feeling lazy, or maybe I just don't feel like doing it, so it's really nice when he steps in and helps. So now I'm just wiping off the countertops quick and after that I'm going to be vacuuming the floor behind the couch where the litter box is. We are still loving our new litter box. It's the best thing ever but I'm so not used to that clay litter. We have been using crystals for so long that I forgot how messy the clay litter can get but thankfully it vacuums up quick and easy so it's not too big of a deal. The girls would always make a mess with their crystal litter as well but I guess it just wasn't ever that noticeable noticeable to me like the clay litter is because it's much finer but it's all good because all of my vacuums seem to work really well with sucking up any litter that we have and I guess that's all that matters. So now I'm filling up my bucket with some water and that new Mr. Clean Cleaner which is the best smelling Mr. Clean Cleaner ever and if you haven't tried it yet you have to because it smells so good and you're gonna love it. Also, I am still loving this mop and bucket that I got from Timu. I am not a fan of using a bucket. Y'all know I always use a spray bottle, but I'm loving this mop and bucket. It is such a great size, so if you have a small space and you need something like this, I highly recommend it. It works really well and it doesn't take up too much space at all. Now Alan is finally here to save the day. He's going to vacuum the kitchen for me and that area in front of our bedroom and bathroom. He's also going to be mopping the kitchen floor and that area as well. Well, and he's also going to be loading up the dishwasher for me, which I was really dreading, but he offered to do it. So I said, go for it, boy, do your thing. But first he did a little cleaning in the bathroom for me. He cleaned off the mirror and the countertop and the sink. And then after that, he'll be loading the dishwasher. No. 
office firefighters you got me dancing in your store or i'm looking like a breeze but really you're a forest fire you got me feeling uncomplicated whatever happens is meant for us crushing into all the situations whatever happened we came there first go a little wild is your personal expression for So now it's time for the Halara try on. The first thing I have here is the Pat It Off Pet Hair Resistant Workout Cami. It's buttery soft and has removable padding. It comes in different colors, but I got it in black. And I'm pairing it with the Cloudful Fabric 3.0 Crossover Pocket Leggings. These leggings feature that front crossover V design, which has a slimming effect. They have nice deep pockets on each side and are buttery soft as well. They come in different colors, but I got them in black and I also got them in and a beautiful blue color. These are super comfy and very stretchy. You got me dancing in your storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as fire. Next up is my favorite pants of all time. I have these in black as well. I was actually wearing the black pair the whole time I was cleaning in today's video. I wear them more often than I should, but they are my most favorite pants ever. But I wanted to try them out in a different color, so I got them in this blue. These are called the Padded Off Pet Hair Resistant High Waisted Drawstring Joggers. They have a stretchy waistband and they have side pockets, but they also have an additional pocket that zips up on the side, which is my favorite. Next up is the Padded Off Flow Pet Hair Resistant High Waisted Joggers, which are kind of similar to the previous pair, but slightly different, and they don't have a zip up pocket. But I love all of these Padded Off pants because the cat hair does not stick to them. If you get any hair on them, you literally just pat it off and you're good to go. I got these in white, which I usually try to avoid white clothes because I'm very clumsy and messy, but I really love these, so hopefully I'll just be careful when I'm wearing them. Next up is the Cloudful Air Fabric High High waisted drawstring joggers. These are so soft and comfortable. They are also sweat wicking. They have pockets and they even have a little small zippable pocket hidden in one of the pockets. Next up is the So Cinched High Waisted Tummy Control Training Leggings. These also have pockets and the best part is they hold your tummy in good so they get a big thumbs up from me. I also got a hoodie from Halara. This is my first time getting a hoodie from Halara, and this is the cropped waffle hoodie. I love the waffle design and the material, but I love that this is cropped and it also has a hood and zips up, but unfortunately, it does not have pockets, but that's okay, because most of my pants do, so that's all that matters. And lastly here, we have the high-waisted crossover flare yoga leggings. This is my first time owning a flare leg from Halara, and I think I like them. They're super cute, and I like the wider leg at the bottom. It kind of makes me feel like I was back in the early 2000s or something. But these don't have pockets, but that's okay because they're really cute, and they also feature that crossover V-shaped design in the front like the first pair I tried on. They are very silky to the touch and very comfortable. Halara makes some of the most comfortable pants ever. I have a hard 
time wearing any other leggings after wearing the Halara ones. They just don't measure up. So if you're looking for some good leggings, I highly recommend this brand. They have lots of different styles to choose from and different colors as well. Try them out. You might just fall in love with them. I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out. Anyways, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.